Eight people behind bars, one man dead as bullets fly at a controversial standoff in Oregon. At least two of those involved have ties to Arizona, and one of them is under arrest in the valley. Despite some reports that the standoff at a wildlife refuge is still going strong, now in its 25th day, Ammon Bundy's lawyers speaking out just in the past 30 minutes or so, saying the leader wants the rest of the militia to stand down and go home. Local law enforcement asking the same. It's time for everybody in this illegal occupation to move on. There doesn't have to be bloodshed in our community. We have team coverage for you tonight, beginning with ABC 15's Katie Connor with the moment that sparked the deadly encounter. I went there that night with a gun on my hip. We're used to seeing John Ritzheimer like this. I was going to die that a terrorist was going to try to kill me. But last night, we saw a different side of him. You happy to be back home? This is video as he walked into jail just after he was arrested for his part in occupying a national wildlife refuge. We prefer this to end peacefully. Three weeks ago, Ritzheimer joined armed protesters, including Arizona ranchers Lavoy Finicom and Ryan Bundy in Oregon. The group was protesting the sentencing of Dwight Hammond and his son Stephen, ranchers who were convicted of arson on federal lands in Oregon. On Tuesday night, the three-week standoff reached a boiling point. I'm going to defend my base. This is our base. Federal agents confronted the men on a highway. Shots were fired and Finnegan was killed. It happened during the arrest of the group's leader, Amon Bundy. Bundy's brother, Ryan, was also hit. My son, Ryan, had been shot in the arm. Now their father is speaking out. The boy, Finnegan, they cold-blooded killed him. He said he was out to have his hands in the air. He said he wasn't armed. He hadn't, was in any threats, and they cold-blooded just killed him. Reporting in Phoenix, Katie Connor, ABC 15 News. Right now, John Ritzheimer facing a federal judge in Phoenix. ABC 15's Navita Fergani just stepped outside the courtroom there. And Navita, pretty quick turnaround here. What's going on in this case? Well, Steve, this hearing just lasted 10 minutes. John Ritzheimer walking into the courtroom for the very first time, immediately making eye contact with his wife, telling her that it's going to be okay and be strong. She obviously very emotional as she watched her husband walked in in handcuffs and changed as he approached the judge. Ritzheimer facing misdemeanor federal charges for his participation in the Oregon protest. A judge denied his release today, so Ritzheimer will be back in court next week for a detention hearing. His wife not commenting to our cameras about his arrest and the federal charges against him, but I have been talking to her off camera and she's told me that she's been extremely supportive of her husband's cause and uh, she does want him to come home. So we'll definitely find out if that will happen next week at his detention hearing. So we'll keep you posted. Back to you. Yeah, we'll be following every step of the case. Thanks, Navita.